Let me share some information with you about similar triangles, and this will help you get started this week as you work in section 1.3, 1.4, and 1.5. Similar triangles are triangles that have the same shape, but they may be a different size. And if two triangles have three angles that match, let's call them alpha, beta, and gamma in this picture, then their sides are going to be naturally proportional. Look at these two triangles that I've drawn relatively carefully here. If I have three angles that match, these triangles have the same shape. They just don't have the same size. But having the same shape means that their sides will be proportional. The ratio of 4 to 7 in the small triangle will match the ratio of 6 to 10.5 in the large triangle. The ratio of four to five in the small triangle will match the ratio of six to 7.5 in the large triangle. These two fractions are equal. These two fractions are equal. You could even go across the triangles. Four to six from small triangle to large triangle, corresponding side between angles alpha and beta, has to match the ratio of five to 7.5. You can see that both of those would be two thirds. Even upside down, the ratio of six to four, you can go from the large triangle to the small triangle. The ratio of six to four is three over two, one and a half. That's the same as the ratio of 7.5 to five. That's also one and a half. So the corresponding ratios of sides are equal. Look at another triangle. What this helps us to do is find missing sides if we know some of the sides of the triangle. In this two triangles, let's assume they're similar with angles alpha, beta, and gamma. And then use <coughs> the sum of the sides we know to find the others. In this picture, we have a ratio of f to e is 8 to 11. And we don't know either B or C in this triangle. But if we knew one of those, let's say B was 4, then we could use that ratio. We could use the ratio of 8 to 11, which has to match the ratio of C to 4. that tells us what C is if we multiply both sides by four. C is 32 over 11. We could use that to fill in other sides. The ratio of A to B is three to four. So the ratio of D to E must be three to four. So if the ratio of A to B is three to four, the ratio of D to 11 must be three to four. And that tells me what D is if I multiply both sides by 11, 33 over four. And now I've filled in all the sides in the two triangles after I was told that B was four. So you can use the corresponding ratios of sides in similar triangles in many different ways. Look at these two similar triangles. You say, where are the two similar triangles? Well, think about this triangle inside a triangle for a second. ADB is a right angle, right triangle. ABC is a right triangle. So I have two right triangles, one smaller one inside a larger one. But the two triangles also share this angle. This angle is one of the angles of ADB. It's also one of the angles of ABC. Now these two triangles have two angles that match, and that automatically forces the third to match. That means these two triangles, triangle ADB and ABC, are similar. You could use a little wiggle to represent similar. Now we can fill in all the other links that are missing here. Because this is a right triangle, I can take Pythagorean theorem and say 16 plus four. 
square rooted is going to be the length from A to B. And that's the square root of 20, or 2 times the square root of 5. Then I can use short leg to long leg in the small triangle, 2 to 4, to give me short leg to long leg in the large triangle. So the leg BD length ratio with the leg AD length has to be the same as the ratio of the length of BC to the length of AB. And since BD is two, and AD is four, and BC is unknown, but AB is two root five, I can find out what BC is. I multiply both sides by two root five. I have four root five divided by four. That means BC is root five. If this is root five, then I can use this to long leg and root five hypotenuse of this third right triangle to find out the length of DC. So square root of five squared must be equal to two squared plus the length dc squared. This is 5 is equal to 4 plus the length of dc squared. So dc squared length is equal to 1. So dc or cd, you could name it with either order of letter, is equal to 1. So by similar triangles, I found all the missing pieces in this embedded pair of triangles. The similar triangles are very, very practical and useful when you're trying to understand missing pieces in a drawing.